much so. Um, coming into a tournament like this, you need you need performance based. A lot of the Indians, in fact, all of the Indians would have played in that uh, previous tournament, so they've certainly got the advantage of everyone playing. We've been fortunate to have five in the uh, final, um, so to us, we're obviously in a, a reasonable position as well. But end result is. Um, it's the guys that haven't been playing a lot of cricket. Get them up to speed for the uh, the remaining, or well, leading into the T20 and then those seven one days. So uh, once that happens, you're uh, you're to the even contest. Yeah, that's that's the carrot. At the end of the day, that's the carrot uh, that we obviously we sit back and and want to be part of that number one posse. So obviously, to look at the tournament, it's not just a tournament. It's a chance to be number one in the world in one of the three formats. So very important to the players, very important to the coaching staff, very important to Cricket Australia. Yeah, look, it, it is. In, in experience, one of, the, one of our uh, learning curves at the moment, we've got to, we've got to get past that. It's, uh, it's probably our nemesis. It, it's just the years that we have in our younger players that we've got to wait for them to develop. But in, in doing so, uh, we, we've got good, strong competitions around us which uh, are bringing the guys on very quickly. George is uh, relatively new to the captaincy, yet you feel like he's been around for, for some time and uh, we're very confident with the job that uh, George does. He's, uh, he's, done the, he's done it with distinction in T20 and he gets his opportunity with the one-day competition now. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it is probably our weakness if, you, if we did have a weakness. However, it's also a strength because that youthful exuberance often can be uh, very, very good when it comes to the final crunches.